Hello everybody, welcome to a very late edition of LAB this week, but better late than never. I'm really sorry this is another late upload. I know I made the same apology last week. Things have just been a bit crazy recently and I don't really know why. Well, I do know why. It's, it's Love Island and I'm sure you are feeling my struggle right now when your whole life is focused around Love Island. So I haven't really been able to do anything else when I get home from work other than make sure that I'm ready sat in front of the TV for 9pm. So I'm blaming Love Island entirely for my tardy uploading at the moment. But anyway, I thought I'd just sit down and have a bit of a life update with you because I haven't done a life update in a little while so I thought you might want to know what's going on. So on the law front, a couple of exciting things coming up, namely next week I am doing a really cool interview because I interviewed Judge Jin Jin, <laughs> Jin on the mind obviously, Jim, Jim Tyndall who has had a really interesting journey into law. He was a solicitor and then a barrister and now he's a judge. So thank you to all of you who sent in questions for Jim. We have answer the majority of them in the interview so tune in next week hopefully uploading on monday or sometime during the course of next week and that is a really really interesting video if any of you are thinking about going into any of those potential career pathways so that's next week um what else is coming up so outside of law i have been working with a couple of pr companies in birmingham so rewired pr uh, east village pr delicious pr who have hooked me up with some really cool events, which you will no doubt see and have seen on the broader videos. And also they are gonna be putting me in touch with some restaurants, spas, bars, all kinds of stuff in Birmingham. So I'm gonna be doing a few more review type videos, which I hope you'll enjoy. But I also wanna talk about a couple of cool freebies that I've got this week, which I think you might be interested in. So the first one is this key ring, this bull key ring, which hopefully you can see. This is from Birmingham Update, so if you're not subscribed to Birmingham Update and you live in Birmingham then you should be because it's a really cool news site which tells you events that are going on, things that are popping up, new restaurants, new events, stuff like that. And this key ring gets you really good discounts on a number of venues in and around Birmingham. So examples include Malmaison Hotel which is a really cool cocktail bar, Marco Pierre White which I vlogged in a few weeks ago. Tom's Kitchen, which is a really nice restaurant in the mailbox, and loads of other cool stuff. So hit up the website, which I will link in the description below, and see if you're interested. I think these cost about £18 to buy, but the discounts are actually really decent, so you do get a lot for your money. And check that out, and get one if you are interested. The other thing I've got in the post today is this really cute little coffee kit from a company called Evolve Coffee. Now they have coffee shops in Selly Oak and in Digbeth. And the great thing about this company is that they are a social enterprise, which I love, because it basically means they're not for profit and all the money they make goes back into the community. It goes into employing unemployed people, getting younger people into apprenticeships, all kinds of good rehabilitative community stuff. So if you are in one of those areas, I would really encourage you to go to an Evolve rather than going to one of your mainstream coffee companies because these guys need your money to put it back into the community. Big corporates do not need your money. So this is what they look like if you see one of their shops, Evolve Coffee Co. And they've sent me a cute little a coffee cup because they are working with East Village PR, which is one of the companies that I just mentioned. So I get a free coffee with this. And they've sent me something that resembles a, a coffee plant, although I haven't actually opened this up to have a look at what it actually is. But it was a cool little gift, and I really like the ethos behind these guys. So please do go to them and tell them that I said hi when you go in. So those are my little gifts for this week. I also wanted to show you a couple of new things that I've bought recently. Um, so this is gonna be a little bit of a fashion episode in a couple of minutes. Um, so I've got a couple of new things I wanna show you and that I'll be wearing in the latter part of this video when I am doing a couple of events. So the first one that I am doing is the Porsche 70th anniversary, which happened a few weeks ago and also what else i've been doing the harvey nicks edinburgh gin afternoon tea which is amazing it's so good it's one of the best afternoon teas i've ever had in birmingham so i would really encourage you to go down there it's on all through june and july in the afternoon so i'll link all the details for that as well and the opening of the edgebaston champagne terrace which is going to be awesome Oh my lord, the launch was incredible and it's such a nice sunny terrace, nice place to chill if you are in and around Birmingham of an evening. 
So I'm gonna hook those onto the end of this video, but now I'm gonna go get changed into my new outfit. So just hold there for two seconds. Okay, so outfit number one is my go-to summer outfit at the moment. Ripped jeans, shirt, and my Louis V belt, which I've had for a little while. But my new item, which I've matched with this, is my new Louboutin bag, which was half price in the Harvey's nickel sale, and I'm so chuffed. Mainly because it's got a little bit of red on it, so now I can match my belt with my bag. This is awesome. This is like my favorite summer outfit. I've got a couple of different shirts. This shirt, blessing my dad actually bought me for Christmas, but you could pair this with any shirt and any shoes. I've got my Louboutins on, so they match the bag, but any nude heels. And I think this is just the best, suitable for every occasion. You will see me wearing this in a minute because I wore it to firstly the Porsche 70th anniversary which was outdoors in a field with some flats and then I wore it later on to the Edge Baston launch with a pair of heels. So super versatile, super casual but also chic. So this is what I'm loving at the moment. And for my next outfit this is going to be what I've been wearing to work lately. So hold on two seconds. Outfit number two then, totally different. This is a little spotty dress that I bought from Boohoo, which I think cost about 20 quid and I absolutely love it. I've been wearing it for work at least twice a week. We have this new dress for your day policy at work, which means that as long as you are smart, then you don't have to dress in a full on suit or workwear if you don't have any meetings. So I have been wearing this absolutely loads. It's so light, particularly in the summer months. And I really like that it's got a high neck. And I've just put this on with my Louboutins again because they were here, but again, like any nude heels, any sandals. And I've just been absolutely loving this. Think it's still on Boohoo if it's there. I will link it. I haven't even got a bag with this because at work I just wear it with my giant work bag which goes with everything. So this is my second favourite summer outfit. Just think it's glorious and I absolutely love it. So I hope you've enjoyed this. I'm wearing this in the Harvey Nichols afternoon tea video and I'm wearing my other outfit in the Porsche slash Edge Baston launch video if you're interested in what I'm wearing. So hopefully you've enjoyed what I'm wearing <laughs> and uh, Stay tuned for the events section of this video and I will see you there. Bye bye. So I'm at Harvey Nichols for the gin afternoon tea tasting evening. We've just had a really delicious gin elderflower cocktail and we have been advised that there are no fewer than seven more to come so it's going to be an interesting evening and an even more interesting walk home but I will show you what we're about to eat which looks absolutely incredible. And welcome to Charmley Castle. So if you follow me on Instagram, you might remember a few weeks ago that I was doing some filming here with Porsche Wolves. And we're actually filming the promo video for this event, which is the 70th anniversary. So 70 years of Porsche taking place today at Charmley Castle. So there's loads going on, loads of music and the food stands and there's a few good cars around. So I'm gonna do a quick tour. It's a flying visit today because I've got another event tonight, which you will also see. And uh, so I've got to crack on and get some good stuff done, but hopefully you'll enjoy it and I'll catch up with you again in a bit. So, at 1743, think, everyone, yes, look at your watches, <laughs> Mr. O'Malley. <laughs> at 1743, please celebrate and toast with us the founding year of the Moiti Shandon Maison. Have a good evening, everyone. Thank you. Woo!